It's the early morning and time for another training session. Are you guys training this morning? Are you training? No, I'm not just No? I was going to do it. Might just go for a jog, yeah. Just a jog. Okay. Okay, let's go start the warm up. You coming? Are you actually doing anything today other than slow jogging? We'll see. I brought my own bikes. Um, I've never worn them before, so I wanted to just uh, give them a test run before the race on Sunday. Yeah, I bought mine as well. Maybe I'll do a few laps in them. So today, I had planned to do a harder session trying to run at speed for the, for the 800 race on Sunday. However, my calf is not feeling uh, 100% so I don't want to push it too much so I'll probably do a slightly easier session considering there's only two days to go before the actual race I don't really want to kill myself and get too tired anyway the sky looks pretty cool this morning Right, we've done two laps, I'll go and put the camera down, finish the warm-up and then get back to you. Well, I've just finished the warm-up. Today I had planned to do 800 meter intervals in preparation for Sunday, but I'm not feeling 100% with my calves. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do five intervals. I'm going to do a 1,200, a 1,000, an 800, a 600 and a 400 to finish. And um, that will be the session today. And I'm not going to push it too hard. I'm just going to start easy and gradually get faster and then uh, rest for two days before the race on Sunday. I've also got special guest Neil who's going to be running along with me trying to keep up. Do you think you can keep up today? We'll see. So we're just going to get started with the 1200 now in probably average pace around 415 taking it easy. Okay you're gonna start now? Yeah ready okay. let's go. Okay, so how, how was your interval feeling after it? How, how was it? It was good. The start felt quite difficult uh, because we'd, we'd warmed up and then we stopped for a few minutes. So starting was hard and the pace was a little bit faster than I was expecting. Okay. Um, but I think we also ended up going a bit too fast so we had to kind of slow it down a little bit. Yeah, it was, it was faster than we had planned. Um, running around about 4, between 4 and 4.10 rather than 4.15. Uh, it was it was good though. I mean, I felt like we could run around talking without feeling really out of breath. And when I finished, I wasn't I wasn't really out of breath at all. So yeah. and in terms of cardio, pretty good. Maybe we'll go slightly faster on the next one. So what is your recovery time? Uh, I'm not actually timing it to be honest, um, but the aim is about three minutes. Okay. So we're just going to start the third interval of 800 meters. We're going to do the first 400 meters at the normal pace we've been running, around four minutes a kilometer, okay. and then do a faster last lap, but not pushing it too far. Okay, so what about you, Neil? Yep, I'll do the same. Just I'll, the I'll, same. Just, follow, I'll just follow Martin. Okay. We'll see, we'll see what happens at the finish line. Follow coach. Okay. <laughs> there are no right. challenge to catch up each other? Uh, depends, no. depends what happens. I don't think it's going to be hard enough to be a challenge. <laughs> we, can't, we can't predict what will happen. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm so how was it? What 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 a discussion now? What's going on here? We're arguing. <laughs> I'm saying that that pace, doing a three minute twelve, is way too slow for a like a, a requirement for an 800 meters, and he's saying it's too fast for people to run. All right, Neil's doing an unboxing. So these are my new spike. new spikes. Yeah. Um, so today the first time for it. First time, yeah. They've I, they've never been used, so I need to. So Neil, you um. 
you haven't used your spikes in a long time, right? How do you think it's going to feel running in spikes compared to the last uh, few intervals we've just done? It's going to feel very, very different, I think. I'm wearing uh, middle distance spikes, which is basically, as you can see here, a fully molded sole up to the heel. So um, it's a very stiff shoe and I'll probably have to adapt my slightly my, uh, my running posture. So I think it would be really good if we could do the interval within 600 meters um, and then we're going to come back and ask Neil again how it felt with the spikes on for the first time. Yeah. I've, never, I've never worn this pair of shoes, they're brand new. So. I certainly think that, you know, as soon as I put the spikes on, I feel like I'm flying like, <laughs> instantly. It does, I feel it makes a massive difference. Yeah. So I'm going to be interested yeah. whether it's just in my head or Neil also feels the same. So this is the difference between the spike and uh, the trainer. This is why we use a spike on the track. Yeah, I know. I feel like it would be good to do a small amount of training in them and then save them for, you know, comp you know when you're doing a race. Yeah. Like that. I don't know training in them all the time. You might lose the benefit of the feeling from doing the race. I'm no expert in spikes. So. That's something some people say. Some, mm -hmm. some people say that they, they save the spikes for the special occasion. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're taking along a third person with us now. Yeah, he prepared himself for now. <laughs> yeah, this guy's going to join see. us. Uh, we're going to start from the other side, from the 600 meter mark, okay. do 200 meters in the final lap. Okay, we just had a very quick interval, interval break, and then we're going to do the 400 now, straight into it. Okay, yep. let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it was like Roy Springs. Yeah. Well, how how was it? You know what? <laughs> It was, I did 119, under 119. So if I run two laps at that speed on yeah. Sunday, yeah. I would run under 240, which would be better than what I'm expecting. So the question is, well, when I'm fresh, can I run that speed for two laps? But based on that map, probably not. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. good. Okay, so the question is, what did you think about the spikes? When you, uh, when you put the spikes on around the last kilometer, how did it feel different? Yeah, it felt very different. Um, you've got to kind of change your running, running posture, so I feel like I have to really run on the front of my foot. So make sure I'm kind of really leaning forward, leaning into the run. Uh, so it also kind of forces you to run a bit faster. So yeah, it does make a difference. i still got to get used to it though. Yeah, down the back straight, I was running about 10 metres behind you and um, it looked pretty comfortable, that like a professional runner. I'm sure it looked more comfortable than it felt. And finally, how, how fast did you run that? I didn't count, but I took a video. <laughs> okay, video analysis coming up. Extra, Mr. Samon. Why bong, why jay, bong, why jay? Huh? When jay mamat, I looting me. I'm good! <laughs> so I'm sitting here in the sun, with the sun in my eyes, and I'm squinting a little bit. But I just finished the session, did a cool down. Uh, in the last interval, we did a 400 meters, which I ran in just under 1 minute 19, uh, which is quite good. It's faster than I wanted to run today, but it shows that I actually could run a uh, 2 minute 40, 800 meters on Sunday. We shall see how it goes. I don't think I'll be able to maintain that for two laps. Uh, just not done enough training. That was the first time I've run that fast in a very long time. Uh, it felt okay, but we're, we'll see if it's maintainable or not. Anyway. Let's see what happens on Sunday and I'll see you in next week's training video.